Welcome back to Chuck Chews. Today we're going to do Marie Callender's Country Fried Chicken and Gravy. And I did a little different than I normally do. I did this one in the oven, so it's already done because it took 45 minutes. But uh, to do it in the microwave, which I've done these both ways microwave and oven, the oven it comes out much better. That's why I did it in the oven. Um, but to do it in the microwave, you cut the vent, cut cut to vent, cut the film that was on top. I already took that off. Cook on high for four and a half minutes. Stir the potatoes, recover, and cook for an additional minute and a half to two and a half minutes. Conventional oven is you do not do it in a toaster oven. It says uh, preheat oven to three fifty. Cut film to vent. Cook on a baking sheet in center of oven for forty to forty five minutes. Check to make sure it's thoroughly cooked. Let's stand for two minutes. It's been at least two minutes already. Um, nutritional facts is one serving is one container. One serving is one meal. 410 calories. 17 grams of fat. 50 milligrams of cholesterol. 1100 milligrams of sodium. Total carbohydrates is 48 grams. 15 grams of protein. Okay, they hid... The ingredients way over here so if you can read that tiny little print I'll let you pause and read got a QR code on there for something Conagra brands let's dig in here and see what we got these are usually pretty good the corn looks like it dried out a little bit Ooh, that kernel of corn looks really nasty your dog um yeah some of those kernels of corn don't look as good as they have in the past all right let's try the corn they need pepper they need something maybe i should have had it maybe i should have had it ready had a little pat of butter or something ready and just put some butter on that right when it came out. Or even take it out five minutes earlier. Put some butter on it and then put it back in. It needs something. It's just corn. The mashed potatoes are kind of weird. <laughs> I know this thing's going to be really hot. I'll add it. Mashed potatoes are not all that great. Which is a shame. I've had these before and thought I kind of liked them, but maybe I'm mistaken. Try the gravy. Gravy actually has kind of a weird burnt taste. was disappointing I know I didn't overcook this thing all right get some gravy on that thing oh this is gonna be screaming hot I just know it well I tell you, I've had these in the past. I didn't think they were that bad, but this one is not. This one's not tickling my fancy quite as bit as the ones in the past. Did they change something? I mean, these meals have been known to change their ingredients and formulas over the years, and. They may have done that to this one. Hmm. Hmm. It's okay, but it's nothing to write home about. I 
these weird little lines in the chicken. Like it rode down some kind of metal conveyor belt. <laughs> Don't see those lines over here. Yeah, it really doesn't look too much like the the thing, does it? It's the gravy's kind of a blandish. Ugh. I don't know. It's not horrible, but it's not great. But uh, I don't know. I could have swore these tasted better in the past. This one is different. But um, hey, if you've ever had the McCree Calendar's Country Fried Chicken and Gravy, let me know what your thoughts are on it. Because in the past, I thought they were better than this one. See if anybody else has that same thought. And until the next video.